All right, guys, one more Core 4 um, McLaurin series that we need to work on, and that is the geometric series. And we already did this last week when we were just doing basic power series representation, uh, but I want to put it into McLaurin form. So or I want to at least show you uh, where the form came from. So generically, again, this is what it would look like. And if you do remember what it was from last week, you're looking at this saying, wait a second, that's not what we wrote down. Let's actually do it out the, the right way and we'll see what exactly it's supposed to look like and you'll be able to see why it's supposed to look like that. So we're going to do the same strategy we used all the other times when generating any, any of our series. This is what we did. And oops. And this is what we've got. All right, so let's do it a few times and see if we can find anything. And let's see, this is going to be... Um, I'm just going to rewrite this as 1 minus x to the negative 1 because I don't really want to be doing quotient rules on that. So the derivative is going to be negative 1 minus x to the negative 2 with a negative 1 chain rule kicker. So actually, it's really positive 1 minus x to the negative 2. Same thing. Negative 2 1 minus x to the negative 3 with a negative 1 chain rule kicker is going to be negative 2, uh, positive 2 1 minus x to the negative 3. Again, negative 3 times 2, 1 minus x to the negative 4 times negative 1 kicker is positive. I'm going to write it as 3 times 2, just like I did before, instead of 6. 1 minus x to the negative 4. And I'm just going to do one more. It's going to be positive again. 4 times 3 times 2, 1 minus x to the negative 5. Okay, if you're not sure, just do these derivatives on the side, and you'll see we get the same thing. Sorry about that one. That is definitely they're all positive, because that negative 1 chain rule kicker keeps taking care of the negative that's in the power when I bring it down for a power rule. Plug in 0, I get 1, 1, 2, 3 times 2, 4 times 3 times 2. You can almost guess without me even writing 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. Okay, So this is essentially 0 factorial, 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial, which basically leads us to n factorial. So my nth derivative evaluated at 0 is n factorial. Right? My nth derivative evaluated at 0 is n factorial, which gets substituted right in here. Well, isn't that convenient? I have n factorial x to the n over n factorial. Sorry, I forgot my sigma. And the n factorial is canceled, and this is maybe what you remembered from last week. This was simply just x to the n. And the only problem with this is there is a restriction that x needs to be between negative 1 and 1. Right? My radius of convergence is 1. My interval of convergence was negative 1 to 1. This is the only one of the core 4 that that happens to. The other core 4, if we did a ratio test on it like we did here, would work all the time. Works for all x's. Okay, So this is your last core 4 Maclaurin series. Okay, um, Again, let me know if you have any questions. I think this is a good foundation to build on. You have a video now for each of the core 4. I'm going to make one more video with just some random examples kind of splashed together, and uh, hopefully this will be enough for you to uh, go back to when you're kind of stuck, because this is kind of a tough topic. Okay, so be sure and ask questions if you need any help. If you haven't already done the multiple choice that I uploaded, try them out, um, and just see how you do. We'll go over them tomorrow in class anyway, okay? But at least give them a shot. All right, take it easy.